But this is not accessible to the public. Come on up. It was accessible to me. No, you guys do not have access down there. There is uh, so what? records. Right. No, no, you guys lie all the time, man. No, we don't. First of all, you guys need to step up here right now. What's going to happen if we don't? You're going to be arrested for trespass. Welcome back to the People's Court Audit channel. The best place to see videos from First Amendment audits, police getting on, walks for shame, ID refusals, learn your rights and help spread awareness to the people. So make sure to support this channel by subscribing, smash the like button and leave a comment to keep the conversation going. Today's video took place in Agerstown City Hall, when an auditor decided to exercise his First Amendment right to see if the public officials were going to respect the rights and freedoms that we the people have. He told the staff early on that the town hall was lacking on information on what's publicly accessible or not, and noticed that he also states that if there is no sign or lock, then by law it is accessible to the public because it is a public building. But as usual, the police was called and they immediately threatened this man with illegal arrest if he didn't leave. This video comes to us from CA and TY audits, and I will leave the link in the description in case you want to see the full video. And don't forget to show him some support, because he does a great job of educating the police. Just stick to the end and see the second interaction he has with the officer. Hi there. How's it going, brother? Good, how are you? Doing all right, man. Yep, you, this part here is private. This it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, better get that door locked then, because there ain't no sign on it. Yep. Uh, no, no, thank you. Okay. I mean, you said it's private back there. It's a way for you to come into here. It's it's not public, is what, like it's not a public access area. I got gotcha. you. I was gonna say it's private. That's crazy. I'd like to talk to the property owner, but all right, man. That's right. Yes, good, good man. Uh, so, man, you guys do know that, like, in order for it to be a restricted area, it does have to be locked, or there's got to be a sign in front of it, right? Sir, did you know that? All dark back there. Hey, back up here, guys. What's going on? Back up here. This so, is private police stuff down here. You the pub, this is not accessible to the public. Come on up. It was accessible to me. Come on up. You want to use some manners, bud? No, I'm asking you right now to come on up here, please. You were asking pretty aggressively. I just told it you that there matter. needs to be a sign or it needs to be locked. Come on, come on up here. Get up here. What's going to happen if we don't? Well, the police is on the way. You need to come up. You're not allowed down there. No, no. The police are on the way? Come on up here. This is what you guys do. I know what you guys do. We've gotten emails. But I'm not telling you, that's a restricted area down there. Well, it doesn't look restricted, man. In order for it to be restricted, it's it got to be. It is. It's got to be locked or it's got to have a sign on it, buddy. Get up here. This guy's just a clown. Age three, age nine. Come on, guys. Right so, you're not going to move? Not unless I'm threatened. I got to finish my water first, man. Let's get out of here real quick. Sorry. Here they are. Yes, sir. Man, they are fast with it. Yeah, especially when it's a city hall call. They know who they serve. They serve the city. How you guys doing? 
All right, man. So you guys get to step out of there. This is not public access area. What we explained, man, was that there's got to be a sign or it's got to be locked for no, it to be. No, it does not. You guys do not have access down there. There is uh, so what records. Right, that, I get that, that. You guys don't have access. Okay. What law is that that you're talking about? Because I've read the trespass laws. It says okay. nothing about that. Okay, the general public is not allowed in this area. You guys need to step out. I get that. You guys need to put door signs on that or lock it or else the public is allowed down here. This okay. is all of our building. The only thing that would make it obvious to certain types of people that they're not allowed down here is okay. signage. Other than that, I can't take your word. That's like you saying to me, this is a 40 miles an hour zone and then I don't see a speed limit. I mean, you expect me to just take your word for that as well? Well, yes. No. I'm a police officer. No, no. You guys lie all the time, man. No, we don't. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know you personally, but there, I mean, there's a whole Brady list of you guys out there yeah. that have lied on the stand. Why are you standing down there anyway? Because we've been getting unlawful orders to come up there. Why are you down there in the first place? Because it was publicly accessible. Now, this is the problem with the police. They literally think that their word trumps our rights and that we have to obey them despite what the law says. And you expect me to just take your word for that as well? Well, yes. No! Can you imagine a world ruled by laws that cops believe in? Just try to count the number of times that this auditor had to correct this police officer. Well, no, that's, that's ridiculous. Well, if it wasn't publicly accessible, how did we get down here? Well, you have no, you shouldn't even have been back here in the first place, down that way. Where does it say that, dude? Huh? Where does it say that? First of all, you guys need to step up here right now. Yeah. What's going to happen if we don't? You're going to be arrested for trespass. And after I told you it's not in the law. This is an area where the public does not have access to. Right, where the public we got access. But if we don't leave, you're going to... You, I'm not saying I will, but I'm saying it's... I'm going no, to, I mean... I'm going to talk with the supervisor. I'm just saying that is a possibility. Yeah. No, I hear you, dude. Like, and I told you, it doesn't say that in the statute. The whole way the law works is if it if the law doesn't say you can't do it, then you can do it. Damn point. All right. So why are you guys doing this? Just to start a ruckus with people? Or? We didn't make anybody come down here. We were going to come down here, record what we could see, which was nothing because it's all dark, and then leave. Okay. But then when people come out and start acting like they've got authority over me, when I pay their paychecks... That's what makes me stand down here longer, just to show you guys, you guys are you guys are paid by the public. We don't pay you guys to boss us around. We pay you guys to enforce the laws. Uh -huh. And the laws doesn't say that you know a public a public or a citizen cannot enter a publicly accessible area. The thing that would make it not accessible would be a sign or a locked door. But you can't just look at a door that's completely open. There's with the no gate across here, and the gate is open. If there's not a sign on it. You've got no idea. For all I know, that's a baby gate to stop kids from falling down the stairs. There is nothing on there that would indicate that this is not a publicly accessible area. And for all I know, you just don't like what I do. I mean, how do I know that you just don't like what I do and you're just trying to restrict my travel? Because I think you're out just to try to cause problems with the uh, law enforcement. Just speculating, but I think this guy thought I said, you don't like what I do and you're just trying to restrict my travel. Then he responds with that. Because I think you're out just to try to cause problems with the uh, law enforcement. Right, I get that. But I didn't call you. I didn't make you come here. We weren't going to do anything. If you know what we do, then you know we just record and we leave. So you came here to be on camera, essentially. What's that? No, I need to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've done what you need to do. No, we got interrupted now as soon as we reached the front of the stairs. You guys can leave now. I know, man. If we're free to leave, then we're free to stay. Yeah, so go ahead and go ahead and leave. I get you, man. Like, how about this? How about you leave? Leave us alone. This and then is we'll my leave. building. I'm responsible. This for is the my building. People in this building. This is my building. This is a building where I work, and I'm responsible for the safety of what goes on. Inside That's fine. You want to follow us? You're not going any farther down that down that way. Now, what happens if I do? Because there's private records down there that you, you're not supposed to be seen. That's your responsibility to keep. That's them private. right. I will. I'll keep you out of there with force. If I have to. Okay. How are you going to fit in between us, man? You look like a pretty big guy. We're both pretty big well, guys. Well, if I want to go down there, I'll find a way to get through you guys. I hear you. Whatever's necessary. Yeah. So, like, if I if I did something like this, what's yeah. happening, man? 
well, if I have to go down there, then you know I'll move you guys out of the way to get yeah. back up there. You can, you can come down. I mean, I'll step, I'll step down, and you can come on through us here. We'll create an opening here. Okay, guys, why don't you just come back up on here? Look, I don't want an argument or a problem with you guys. I don't want a problem with you either. Okay, then step on up here. We won't have a problem. Right. The whole thing is, is it's not your building. It's our building. We all pay taxes. Do you live in Hagerstown? I, for all you know, I do. I'm not identifying. Where do you live at? I'm not telling you that. I don't think you do live in Hagerstown. Well, that's fine. You can think that all you want, but this is a public building, not a pu not a Hagerstown and citizen only building. This is a public building. Okay. We all pay taxes to pay for this building. This isn't your building. Okay. And you trying to tell me what to do in my house is just as ridiculous as you telling as me telling you what to do in your house. Okay. Thank you. Quick note. Just watch the face of these two trying to give the impression they aren't twitching with rage after learning from their superiors that there is nothing they can do. What'd you figure out, man? Have fun, gentlemen. Man. Have fun, gentlemen. Alright. Good for us. Sounds good. Freedom achieved. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Sure he is. Hey, brother, you have a good one, all right? Oh, what? Well, I'll do it. Yeah. I mean, look, we don't come around to cause problems with you, Millie. You understand? We just love freedom. You get what I mean? Look, I understand that. There's nothing wrong with having freedom, but I'm afraid you guys are kind of going about it the wrong way. Okay. We'll let you have all the freedom you want. But see, you see where you're getting on the kind of the bad side of people going places where you know you're not supposed to be. Well, I didn't know because there was literally no sign of, but I will tell you the problem that I have isn't with you guys. Okay. It's not with you as people. It is the collective. It's almost like a group think that's going on. Just the language that you used will let you have freedom. Okay. We're both human beings. I can't let you do anything. Just like you can't let me, like we're both grown men, man. We make yes. our own decisions. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the attitude I'm trying to attack. I'm not trying to attack the people, man. I'm sure you're a great guy. I know, but listen to me. It appears that you are from the general public and the police and everything because it looks like you're just trying to get everybody agitated. I hear yeah. that, man. I hear that, but that's the, we want to, I think it's the attitude because it, it does breed hatred for people, the attitude mm -hmm. that's going on. And so in America, we just love to say, like, dude, and do whatever you thing, want. That's the last thing we need, people starting up, you know, getting hate. people agitated. Starting hate, man. We don't so, like, we don't like hate. We like love. It's like, so, like, that's the thing is, I'm just asking. I try to do my part as a citizen to follow the laws because mm -hmm. if not, you guys have the right to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, as a citizen, hold you guys to the same standards okay. and say, as long as there are mm -hmm. rules that say you've got to have a sign mm -hmm. or there's rules that say it's got to be locked if it's restricted because if it's a no authorized personnel or, if, sorry, if it's an authorized personnel only area, mm -hmm. that's that. But if it's a restricted area, it's actually locked and you can't get in without the key or a key card. Okay. So we just try to like to hold everybody to the same standards. Okay. You know what I mean? Sounds good. But hey, brother, you... I mean it. Have a good day, all right? All right you too. Yeah. To the opposite of what many people say, this is what First Amendments are all about. No bad blood, no lawsuits, just pure investigation and education. Now, if we are lucky, the next interaction this officer has, he will approach it in a different manner and most likely you will get better results. This is why it is important for you to know your rights and help spread awareness to the rest of the people. So make sure to support the channel by subscribing, smash the like button and leave a comment to keep the conversation going.